Good evening, y'all. Another mukbang. Y'all already know Burger King, okay? AKA Blue Killers, okay? Anyway. Let's see what's wrong with my family. Anyway, so yeah. what we got is a number one waffle. Lettuce, tomatoes, mayonnaise, lettuce, and some french fries. We got the pickle, okay? Another fast food mukbang. Got me some ketchup, even though they got some packaged ketchup. But I'm gonna leave this because I don't feel like opening it. I don't feel like opening it, so I'm just gonna eat it like this. Put it all over my fly. I don't want to have a fly. I don't know. You can go for the fly. A separate channel, let's just go. But I guess I go ahead and tell y'all a little bit. Me and the crew, we arrested over a zillion people that is involved in my daughter's murder. And they all on from the block making music about me. Not all of them, though. You gotta really know who you talk. You gotta really know who they is, though. I'm gonna slap my fellas. And there's more to come. The half of the ratio is black people. That's what I mean by African American. I ain't no African American. I'm like nigga. I am. In my DNA, it says nigga. It didn't say African American. I ain't no African American serial killer. I'm from America. That's pretty and top right there. Some of y'all might never know about that. Free and top, man. You ever ever had free? You know what I mean?
pretty in there. Daddy was right. Now dad was like, that night, that dad was just, I don't know what was on me, that dad. My homo was up high. So, pretty again. Me and my friend, we walked pretty again. We got some high expectations. You know, you know you're supposed to wait six. You know you're supposed to have six years. Um, my bad. Yeah, I was really up there. Hmm. You don't come to me late. I'm never late. I'm never late six weeks. Y'all wait six weeks. You don't got to. I know I take my onions and tomatoes off half with the burger. This time she's talking. But you know your body, you know your body, okay, but I just had to that day. Anyway, oh yeah. Remember I made that taco video? And I said the ground beef was going bad. Well, they sent me an article that ground beef has salamella in it, okay? Ain't like I haven't seen it, though. But I thought because of the baby. Maybe we were both. Anyway, tell me why they tried to kill us the other day. The terraces. They made me read a lot of articles. And they sent to me. I remember. You know me, I'm professional. I read it too. They had guns and shit to everybody's head and shit. They always tell y'all this. I'm gonna kill me half of everybody. I'm gonna bomb them again. Luckily. I don't know who stopped it, but we just said we had enough, like, fuck it. And we killed that ass. It was Tessie, so. You know, it threw gas. Tessie got gas in my house. And it was awkward. Everybody had to go to the CIA lab. With the military lab. Until everything cleared off. They would be doing the zombie, the uh, zombie stuff. Yeah, it was crazy, y'all. They about to kill my ass. They about to kill me, kill us again. Texas, the bombs and shit. I forgot who the one who saved our ass. I like, maybe it was the most high, of course, but you know, like who we lose to save our ass. I had to read so much shit. Like my family tell me, don't feed, don't let them feed shit like a dummy. Okay, and I had a show that I ain't no dummy. I mean, I might act all ratchet and shit, but I ain't no dummy. Yeah, dad would help you. It ain't really good though. 
child. Yes, sure you do. I will too busy be. I know Ribby and um Paris. My people they got slapped and they real though. Oh we got good now though, real life. But all that matters. I'm going to take the tomato off. Put it in this fry thing because Jocelyn I already took my damn bag. That's all I do with that. She likes it here. Alright. I'm gonna take the onions off. Not the pickle. Oh, you got some of these onions on there. Ain't gonna lie, onions clean you out, y'all. Onions clean you out, okay? So you at least leave, you know, at least eat an onion a day, okay? I'll be out real happy trying to tell my nieces, like, it cleans you out. You need onions in your life. Tomatoes do too, but to me, it do not for me. Maybe for y'all, but it's not for me. An onion clean me out. Even my son. That, it's like one of our um, secret, not recipes, but our secret remedy. If you're sick or something, eat you an onion. I mean, I, I always forget to get the onions, y'all. I go through stuff. So this book is helping me with whatever fuck I need to need clean out. See, I need to put my other onion. I should put the onion, other onion on there. Okay, you know what? Because I need to get clean out. No, I ain't, I ain't cooked with onions in a long time. I'm gonna put more back on here. I don't care. I'm at home. I don't give a fuck. But yeah, like my son, P. Youngin. You know, when his dad went through his little episode of getting sick off or something, he shouldn't have been doing it. I mean, his daddy just fed his ass onions. And clear you out then. See, he better now. He all better than shit. Y'all do y'all own research. I need to tell y'all what I ain't do for me. It cleaned me out. You got any illnesses in your body or sickness in your body, okay? And you talking about no physical sickness. It could be anything spiritually. As well. Mentally, emotionally, whatever the fuck. Eat your onion with something, okay? Of course. You don't want to eat by yourself, eat, by yourself, eat, eat it with something. I got hamburger or something. Chicken or something. Post out shit. I don't know. Pop it up in your food or some shit. Put it in your salad. I don't know. Mm.
在呀，啥不玩玩呢？好玩呢。那觉得你好呀。I'm not there. I'm in a good mood. <clears throat> I'm never gonna choke. Uh -huh. What's your thing? What's your thing, baby? Fuck your boyfriend. Fuck your friend, man. That's what I would say about him. What you think, baby? Okay. What you think, baby? What you think, friends? I know I'm feeling myself. You know, you know. Just a little cup of water. You cute. Yep, I need it all of it.
I'm already be a guy like what the fuck. Never had <clears throat> a full nine month pregnancy. It always been three months shy. I had my baby every three months. May come out fully developed. Like really, not real time. Fully fucking developed. More, mostly than kids that were born in nine months. Like what the fuck? First of all, I wish I did, did have normal kids, you know. A baby that just won't do nothing, just act like a baby. Okay? But I couldn't never have a baby like that. I always want me a normal baby, y'all. A baby that takes its time to grow up. Not already talking when it come out my fucking cool shit. Really, they do. And they ain't talking yet. They listening. And they smiling. Or they doing some kind of facial expressions. No, not the new not the one that come out in nine months. They they start doing facial expressions in six months. Or three months. Six months, mainly. But no babies I know, because I deliver babies. Six months. My baby, when they first come out of this. Well, I want me a normal baby. I really do. I want a normal baby, y'all. Like, I don't want them to ever find. I don't want them to ever want to have a normal baby. I also want to go through a nine-month pregnancy. I want to go through a nine-month pregnancy. Not no three-month pregnancy. Then I'm pregnant again. It's frail. It's frail. The months and the motherfucking year. So I'm pregnant every six months. I mean, every three months like that. So I have three babies a year. Maybe even more. I don't want to be a normal mama. You know, normal. They have a normal baby, y'all. <clears throat> it all I ever want a normal child and a normal man. My three be old baby. He already He know he remind me of you know me and my friend, we had our baby at the same time. Why like we had a thing we had him early though with three weeks this time. He remind me of Desta and then and his homeboy on um, Desta Laboratory. The other dude, the one who 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 also a scientist. And young boy baby. He a scientist. And my baby Desta. And only why I said no, it could be only I said that because my three week old baby be telling his cousin what to do. No, I don't know who they talking about now, but they find they trying to build some science and shit. I'm telling you y'all, y'all think I'm y'all think they they be little babies right here, they slid. They like they're still alive, they like they're still his own boy. They be wanting to go with DD and shit. They be planning something, y'all. Young boy look over, he whispering in his son here. Like, man, let's do this. I mean, I heard a little bit of it. I probably hear a little bit of it. But I really don't know what the fuck they talking about because, like, I just hear him do this. 
And I hear your boy son, like with his cousin say, Okay, what what what, what y'all gonna do? What you gonna build? Y'all building something without me knowing, without us knowing. I ain't gay. I do something, y'all. I want to build something or something. I made that movie Boss Baby. That one I saw the favorite movie. The Little Messiah. The real one. The other one real too, but the person that got scared in his face, he little baby doll. It's my baby mama. He wants you to know that. Baby Bounce. Thank you for both things. Five of me. You like five of me. Five of me. Okay. That's how you do. Okay, good. I want him to just be saying. I like he's got the type of he can just be saying shit. Like you call to him. Like you want him. He says five things. He like he likes five things too. Yeah, I'm done. I can't even eat all this. I'm full. I feel like you're woke up too. So yeah, we I'm done, y'all. It's just a three little fries and a half. Okay. I love to do. But y'all know. I, I barely eat this shit. Not, sometimes I be feeding for me some fast food. So anyway, hope y'all enjoy. I'm out. I don't know I'm a tighter than yet though. So peace. 28, 28 could be significant. So 10, 10. Okay. Peace.